welcome to crackchannacup.com. My name is Leomi Anderson and I am speaking to you all the way from the Big Apple, aka New York. I arrived here um, yesterday, no, what day is it today? Saturday. I arrived here on Thursday, so the 3rd of January. I landed at about 7.30. I should have known it was going to be like a bad journey to get here from when I had to pay like £70 extra for an overweight case and an extra case, which was just like whatever kind of thing and then on the plane my tv wasn't working and they tried to offer me a dvd player sorry but when you're on the plane like one of the most exciting things is being able to watch you know like new films and i was really 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 wanted to watch pitch perfect so for them to be offering me a dvd player with spider-man the first one mm -mm, you wasn't having it so they moved me seats but yeah and then i started getting this really bad headache should have known it was a sign so i went through customs and everything and you know when you're standing by the carousel waiting for your suitcase to come around, I had my two cases. Picked up the first one and it was fine, just like sitting like this waiting for the next suitcase to come. I could see people looking at a certain suitcase now. Ooh, making faces, pointing at it. I was thinking like, what's everyone looking at? Something deep down told me, you know that's going to be your case, right? And I was like, nah, it couldn't be, it couldn't be. It came round and don't think, it was in a tray, a massive tray. And this suitcase is massive by the way, it's like like this big and like this wide and it came round and the zip had broken like all my stuff was spilling out into the tray like my underwear like can of hairspray a jacket hanging out and i was like f me f me up the ass right now because my life can't get any worse than this right now so imagine i was like struggling trying to pull it off of the carousel and nobody was helping me either like everyone could see like oh this poor girl I looked like a tramp, I felt sick, and nobody was helping me, like, they were helping the grandma, but they couldn't help me, even though my case was all busted open, so angry, so I got it onto my thing now, and I called my mum and I was crying, like, mom, my stuff, I don't know what to do, blah, 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 but then, yeah, yeah, I kind of gotten over it now. Um, what else can I tell you? Okay, yeah, so basically, um, I've moved agencies now as well, um, I'm now with an agency called Fusion, which is a smaller agency, but I love them so much already. Like, they really want to push their girls and stuff, and they have some really good girls. And there's more one-on-one -on -one time with the bookers and stuff, which is really cool. So I'm actually super excited to be here. Uh, but it is freezing, by the way. It's like zero degrees, and that's like a good day. But um, the sun is shining today, which has made it a lot easier for me to deal with. And yesterday, which is the Friday, um i had like one one or two castings and i'm with my roommate um terry who is scottish which is just amazing because uh, you know it's just nice to hear like a familiar kind of voice even though i don't know any scottish people um but yeah and um but she's really cool so we went around and did our castings together and whatnot and then we went out to eat at the red lobster which is amazing like i had like lobster tail shrimp scallops potato um and more potato for some reason for like $30 which is crazy cheap and I'm definitely just gonna be eating there like once a week because like why wouldn't you kind of thing and then after that I uh, came home started to unpack my stuff and then um, I went to see my friend Bay, who is also from England and like she basically lives here now she's got like a boyfriend and friends and everything here so I went to her place and she got like a new place for a boyfriend and we we're just chilling out um, it was really nice like because all the other times I've been in New York it's always been fashion week so you know I'm stressed I'm tired I'm living with like 12 girls and you know I'm rushing around from day one but like now that I'm here like you know I'm here three weeks before fashion week I actually have time to just do normal stuff like you know I'm just going around I'm shopping I'm you know meeting my friends I'm doing stuff you know and it's just making it so much more easier to like you know enjoy New York um and you know i have no mice as well there's no pests or cockroaches or mice or whatever in my apartment so thank the lord um yeah oh today um i went shopping i had a casting this morning and then after that i went shopping with my roommate we went to um top shop i know what was the point they definitely have one in britain but who cares i still went there um i went to american apparel bought a backpack and i went to bed bath and beyond like I don't think you understand how excited I was to be in that shop because they always talk about it in the movies like yeah let's just go to bed to bed and beyond blah blah and I finally went there I bought a towel and some other bits and bobs too um 
and then I just came home to film this basically. Uh, I don't know what else to do in a vlog, so do leave some comments so I know whether I'm doing good or not. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know. I'm just taking each day as it comes really, but I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought that I would, you know, but obviously it's only day two, so things can still go tits up, but uh, I'm hoping that it doesn't. But yeah, like I'm loving it here at the moment. The weather's not too bad, you know, I've got all my coats and everything and I'm ready this time and I feel much more confident than I did when I came before. And I'm ready just to be living by myself, doing my thing, so yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed my first vlog. Uh, seeing as you guys asked for it and I hope that I did it how you're meant to. And yeah, um, I'll be doing, try and do one like every other day or something like that. Um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoy. Bye.